In this video, we'll take a look at onboarding a 3PCC phone to WebEx calling. The first thing we're going to take a look at is what model of phone we have and also the firmware version. We have a 6851 3PCC phone. This is a native 3PCC phone. And if you notice, the version is 11 3 7 and it ends with a 284 that means it's service release one so as the recording of this video this is the latest firmware when onboarding a 3PCC phone to WebEx calling I typically find using version 11.3.3 or above is a good starting point so next thing we're going to take a look at is going to be WebEx control up we're going to go under devices we're going to add the device we're going to add it to an existing user. We're going to click on next. We're going to type in a few letters of the user. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and select user number two. We're going to click next. Okay, we're going to select Cisco IP phone. And then we're going to select the specific model of phone that we have, 6851. And we're going to go ahead and do it by activation code. We're going to click on next. Okay, then it's going to generate the activation code. Um, you can go ahead and copy this. You can print it. You can email it. As you see, there's three different options it gives you. So we want to document this code. And then we want to enter this into the phone's LCD screen. And I'm, I'm going to blur out a portion of this for obvious reasons. And I'm just going to make sure that the number is accurate. So I'm just kind of verifying all the digits before I commit to the continue. Okay. And this is going to take a few minutes. Basically what the phone is doing, it's doing a handshake with WebEx calling. It's going to pull down the configuration that's appropriate for the phone. If the phone was not using the latest firmware, the phone would also go through a firmware update at this point of time. Um, that firmware update could take an additional five minutes, plus or minus a few minutes, roughly. In this case, the phone does have the latest firmware, so the firmware update is not going to be needed. And that's why you may see this onboarding occur a little bit quicker than you may encounter yourself. Again, when you're onboarding a 3PCC phone to WebEx calling, at this point of time when this video is being created, I find if the phone is using firmer version 11.3.3 or higher, that that's a good starting point. If you have a phone that's older firmware version than 11.3.3, then there's an increased risk when you try to onboard it that it's going to run into issues, okay? So we see the phone has pulled down an extension number 11.222. It also has a phone number. I've blurred out a portion of the phone number for obvious reasons. And right now you notice there's a cloud in the top right corner of the phone's LCD. It's right now doing a handshake for WebEx Aware. That may take a few extra moments for it to do the handshaking. The screen just went off for a moment there. I do there's a like a power saving timeout, so I just pressed one of the buttons to bring up the coloring. Okay, so we have a solid cloud, okay, and we have dial tone. So we've completed this onboarding. Now we're gonna try another scenario. And what we're gonna try now is onboarding to WebEx calling via MAC address. So I went ahead and offline reset the phone back to factory default. And I will go ahead and kind of do the same process as before, but this time we're gonna do it via the MAC address from the phone. So basically I'm selecting Cisco IP phone. And then what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go and select the actual model of the phone, 6851. And we're gonna do it now via MAC address. 
So in this case, you can look at the MAC address on the LCD screen, or in this case, I'm looking at the label where it says MAC, and I'm going to type this in in a few moments. I'm blurring out a portion of this for obvious reasons, but in your case, it may be easy to take a picture of the label and then enter it in. A lot of the labels are quite small on the phones nowadays, and or you can look at the LCD of the screen and also pull the MAC address from it. And we just want to make sure we are accurate here. So this is where, you know, having a, a photo of it and or pulling it from the LCD screen might make more sense if you're doing many phones. Okay, so I'm just going to verify to make sure everything looks okay before I commit. Okay, so we should be good. So I will click on save. Okay, it says device successfully added. And what I need to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and trigger a factor reset on the phone. So I'm going to click on the settings option on the right hand side, soft key. And then what we're going to do is it's going to offer us here. So we'll just go down the menu here and then under device administration, we'll go down the menu and it's going to offer us a factor reset. So we're going to select the factor reset and we're going to confirm that. And the reason I'm doing a factor reset versus just power cycling the phone is when a phone boots up the first time from a factor reset, it does like a special handshake with WebEx calling for the onboarding. And generally you want to do this for this type of onboarding, um, assuming that the phone, you know, you're not pulling a phone fresh out of the box and plug in. Plug in. If you're pulling a phone fresh out of the box, has at least 1133 firmware and you're plugging in, you typically would not have to do a factor reset. However, this was a phone that I'd been using in a lab for different scenarios. So I just want to go ahead and trigger it, factor reset like it's a fresh phone out of the box. And now it's doing that special handshake for onboarding. Again, this phone does have the latest firmware, 1137 service release one. So the phone will not need to go through any firmware updates. In your case, you may see additional time needed for onboarding the phone if it has older firmware. And as a minimum, we want to make sure at the point of recording of this video, I find version 11.3. So 11.3.3 or above is typically the minimum that I find it works really well for onboarding. If you have something older than that, you may run into issues. So consideration, you definitely want to look at the documentation at the time you're viewing this video to see what has perhaps changed because things do change over time. Okay, and also you notice the date and time is wrong, which is fine. Initially, when a phone boots up and it's doing the handshaking for the first so many seconds, you'll see the date and time not correct, which is fine. You'll see the the screen off and flash on and off a few times, which is also fine. But eventually you should see the date and time updated to be accurate. And then you'll also see the information, the extension, the username. Okay, so we just saw some updates there. Okay, my screen just went into power save mode. So what I'm going to do here is I will go ahead and press one of the uh, arrow keys to just t trigger back on so we can get actually the image. Okay, and then um, hopefully here in a few moments my camera will get into focus here. Okay, so the date and time is correct. Okay, so just pulled on a phone number. I'm blurring a portion of the phone number again for obvious reasons. And then we should be seeing an extension here in a few moments. Okay, so it's telling us initializing the network. And, and as mentioned before, you will see things go back and forth a few times, very normal during the onboarding process. And what we should see here in a few moments when it finishes initializing the network, is we should see the extension number. Okay, so it says system booting. Okay, so we have an extension number, phone number. Okay, so and WebEx aware. So the WebEx aware cloud on the top right corner is blinking. We're going to give it a few extra seconds for it to establish a WebEx aware connection where the cloud is solid. It's no longer blinking. 
So we'll give it a few more moments so it gets solid and then we should be ready to do a test run. So yep, we have dial tone. Okay, well thank you for watching this video as far as onboarding a 3PCC phone to WebEx calling. We reviewed two different methods. One method was using the activation code and the other method was using the MAC address to onboard the phone. Thank you for watching the video.